Growing up, there, we weren't a family of means. I'm not going to say we were poor and struggling to survive, but my father was an entrepreneur and he definitely had points in which it was either make that small amount of money or be thrown out of your living environment. I remember once we lived in a one bedroom motel with me, him, his wife and my newborn sister and I used to go around collecting glass, plastic and Pepsi Coke cans because in Michigan you get 10 cents on the can and I used to collect like 40 of them just to get a few bucks. I think for me personally, I tend to strive in adversity. Uh, I was working 20 to 30 hours a week. I was selling shoes in the shoe department. To be nice, I just wasn't pleased with what I saw on offering and what I saw men buying. And I just felt that there could be better shoes and that I could hopefully see men wearing better shoes. And so I said, you know, what can I do to change this? Well, the only thing really I can do is start my own shoe line and be that change. I have to go make it happen. It all started in university. Um, I was majoring in entrepreneurship. And so the entrepreneurship program taught us to write business plans, to start a company, to meet with real life people, offer them a product or a service, and, and basically run a company while at university. When I was a junior, and I said, I'm going to start my own shoe line. During this whole process, I had all these questions, and nobody to answer these questions. And so I had enough gumption to start a blog and to commit myself to that blog and to write every day. And with that, I was able to meet people in the industry to help connect me to a shoe factory where I could start producing samples. Definitely without the scholarship, I don't think I would have, I wouldn't have made it to college. I didn't have the, the money. And who knows where I would be now if I didn't go to university, I don't know. Um, but I do know that with that scholarship and going to university, I'm living the dreams that I set forth. It's hard to describe what I am. I guess I could call myself a shoe designer, but I do a lot more than just that. Uh, I'm a business owner, a shoe designer. I would write what is probably known as the world's largest blog on high-end shoes. We also have an accessory range. And so basically, I'm just a guy that does everything shoes, shoes-based. Uh, I guess my hopes there are just to see men wearing better shoes across the world. If you have great aspirations in life, make goals that are bigger than yourself, and those will be the ones that help you succeed. Too often, if we focus only on ourselves, it's too easy to make an excuse not to go forward and to do what it takes. But if you make a goal bigger than yourself, you often find yourself more committed to that goal. At the same time, enjoy university. Enjoy the beauty of being around other people and fostering hopefully lifelong relationships, but don't take it for granted either. And if you do that and you believe in yourself, you will get to where you want to go. I think it's amazing what the Costco donors are doing and that they continue to do. And I want to let them know that if not for many, they've at least inspired one person to do the same.